Celebrate summer with this simple and delicious ice cream sundae cake. Today on the Scran Line, we are making this delicious ice cream cake, which is made up of scrumptious layers of decadent chocolate brownie, homemade no churn ice cream, and it's all wrapped up with whipped cream and topped with maraschino cherries. This is the sweetest way to cool down during warmer weather. Let's begin with the brownie. We're going to be adding some unsalted butter, dark chocolate, and some brown sugar to a heatproof bowl placed over a pot of gently simmering water. Make sure the bottom of the pot is not touching the water. You want to continue stirring this until everything is completely melted and smooth. Take it off the heat and add six egg yolks. We're going to be using the egg whites later on, so you want to save those. Whisk those into the chocolate mixture and then you're going to set it aside. We're going to add those egg yolks to a large clean bowl. Whisk those until you reach soft peaks. Then you're going to add a little bit of that cool down chocolate mixture and fold it through the egg white mixture. To the rest of that melted chocolate mixture you're going to add some all purpose flour and chopped pecans. Fold those through before adding the chocolate meringue mixture. You're going to fold that through until all of that butter is evenly and well combined. Split that butter amongst two 8 inch cake tins which have been sprayed with oil spray. Line the bottom with some baking paper. These are going to go in the oven on 180 degrees Celsius for 35 to 40 minutes. Once they finish baking, let them cool down completely. We're going to be adding some salted and buttered nuts around the side of our cake. So to prepare those, add some unsalted peanuts, some melted unsalted butter, and a little pinch of salt in a large mixing bowl or a medium one is fine. You're going to mix that to coat the nuts in the butter. Pop that onto a baking tray lined with baking paper. And this is going to go in the oven for 10 minutes on 180 degrees Celsius. The last thing we want to prepare is the ice cream filling, which we're also going to be using to cover our cake. Add some heavy whipping cream into a large mixing bowl, along with some vanilla extract and caster sugar. You're going to whip that to stiff peaks. In a separate mixing bowl, you're going to add some softened cream cheese and some more caster sugar. Whip that until everything is nice and fluffy and creamy. Then add your whipped cream and fold all of that through together. Our brownie layers baked. We've got two, so we're going to be unwrapping one of these from the baking paper that's underneath it. For the other one, we're going to leave the baking paper on. I'm just going to spray a clean 8 inch cake tin with some oil spray and we are going to line the sides of that with some acetate. I bought my acetate on Amazon but you can buy this from craft stores as well. Pop the layer of brownie in the bottom of the cake tin that has the baking paper underneath it. That's going to make taking this out once it's frozen really really easy. Then you want to add about a third of that cream filling, spread it around evenly before you add some chocolate sauce which you can grab the recipe for on the scran line and add some of those buttered nuts. Add the last layer of brownie and then you're going to add a little bit more cream on top before this goes into the freezer for about four to six hours. Our ice cream cake is completely frozen. We're going to let this thaw for about 10 or 15 minutes. Place it onto a serving plate with a little bit of whipped cream on the bottom just to help it stick to the plate. Unwrap it from the acetate and we're going to cover this in the rest of that whipped cream. We're actually going to leave a little bit for the last bit where we're going to pipe some on top. Once this looks nice and smooth on the top and the sides, we're going to add some of those buttered nuts around the bottom of the cake. Drizzle the top with some more chocolate sauce. I've added the remaining cream to a piping bag. 
fitted with an open star tip. We're going to pipe some swirls around the top of the cake and finish this off with some maraschino cherries. This cake is the perfect way to celebrate warmer weather and if you want to make this and dig into a slice this weekend, you're going to find the recipe on thescranline.com. I've left a link in the description box below for you guys to click on. Go click on that, grab the recipe, print it for free on the website and you'll have your very own slice this weekend. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more recipes from me, they're up on screen right now. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scranline.